folks, Chuck Curtis, go back again. Sorry, it's been a long time since my last video, but yeah, life's still kind of tough for me. But anyway, played in a tournament in Lake George, New York, which is in upstate New York, called the New York State Open. And I haven't played in a tournament in a while, and I want to give you guys the results. It's a five-round tournament. This is round one. I am white. My opponent is Sal Cohen. I'm about 1,400 rated. He's about 1,590. So let's get to it. We're going to play through the opening a little bit. I basically played a, a London-type setup. C3 moves the bishop back. And we'll just go through a few moves here. Now, I had thought for a long time about whether to take with a pawn here and then bring the rook over and then up. But I'd take with a bishop. I wanted to keep the bishop in a good spot there. He plays up. I decided to move the queen. Now, I probably should have played bishop takes or maybe even bishop g5. But I decided to put the queen there. Rook goes over, and I kind of get in a jam here. You're going to see. Queen of d6. Now I have to go g3. Basically, the computer's showing a, a fairly even game. Now, what's happening is it's this uh, a three day, or I took the three day schedule. So this is Friday night, and we started playing, uh, I believe it was 7 o'clock. And there's two games on Saturday, two games on Sunday. So I drove all the way up there. I was a little tired, but it's an okay position. I mean, I didn't play it that correctly. But the computer shows it about even, which is fine. Black Castles. I probably should have went Queen to B5. Maybe get it up here a little bit. Come back if I have to. But I put it on queen two, which wasn't a very good move. It wasn't the computer didn't hate it, it just didn't like it. But he goes knight e seven. He wants to bring the knight to the other side. Now this is a move I thought about and thought about and thought about. Bishop to e two is probably the correct move here. Or maybe even castle short. I decided I wanted to bring my knight around to here and here, so I went knight f one. It looks a little weird, but that was my thinking. He starts with b5. He starts with the pawns up. You're going to see later that I had a little bit of trouble on the queen side. Knight d3 where I wanted. I wanted to control some squares. c5. I probably should have castled or played d takes c, but I didn't. I went queen to d2, which wasn't a very good move. c4. Now, if you're noticing why I didn't castle... This happens a lot in the London where you don't castle until much later in the game. Knight g4. I'm hoping he's going to trade. At least I'm, I'm threatening to screw up his pawns. And then after pawn takes, I've got a nice open file here. Knight takes. Pawn takes. A b4. What to do, what to do. Queen to c2. And he went g6. Now, if you notice... Got of a cheapo here. It's a mate. Maybe king to f1 might have been a better idea. He went g6. I want queen e2. Going to put the queen up here. And probably take with a d pawn if he takes. Get some pawns rolling on this side. B takes. B takes. He moves the rook up. I finally castle. Move 23 a little late, but better late than never. Rook up to b8. Now I've got to play defense. Really sucks for a while. Queen a3. Move my other rook over. Rook to e8. That was a. I was really surprised at that move, frankly. I thought he would just advance his a pawn, or maybe even rook b2 to trade. Well, rook e8 was disconnected as rooks, and I felt I was pretty happy. So I moved my king up. And this is a move that really surprised me. I think around move 26, the time control is 100 
minutes for 40 moves. He moved knight c8 without thinking. Now, what's the old rule? Loose pieces drop off. What are loose pieces? This is loose and this is loose. So what happens? Bishop takes. Now on the computer, I've got over a two and a half point lead. I'm feeling really good right now. He's going to drop the c-pawn as well. Rook b6. I take the c-pawn. He goes knight to d6. I go back. I probably should have went to d3, but I went to b3 instead. And at this point, I'm thinking I'm doing really well. At this point, I'm feeling really good. This guy's rated over 150 rating points more than me. I was a little leery. I have been playing well lately, and I was really happy. And this is the most dangerous time, folks, and I'll show you what happens. He went f5. Not a very good move. I played bishop e6 check. He went king f8. And this is where I mess up. Badly. Rook to h1 is a move that anybody could see. But I decided to bring my queen in instead. And it really, really almost cost me a lot. We'll see what happens. I went queen e5. Figuring I'm going to check here. What can he do? Well, I figured he blocked with a knight. I moved the queen there. And then I realized my mistake. The rook is hitting the bishop, and this rook is hitting the bishop. So I'm beside myself. I should have won rook h1, and after this scenario, I mean, I'm doing really well. The game is over. But now I'm back in the soup again. So that's the best I can come up with. He played B takes. I played pawn takes. Rook D6. I want queen to B5. Now, those of you keeping score here, I've got four pawns for the piece. He went A6. Chased my queen off. I brought my queen back to D3. He moved the rook over. I probably should have played F takes. But I want queen e2 instead. Queen a5. Pawn takes. Rook takes. Then I finally go rook h1. Yeah, a little too late. I'm still okay. The computer shows a little bit under a point advantage for white. But I am so disgusted that I blew it. I mean, I was, oh, it was amazing. I had a winning position. So, let's see what happens. He goes rook to h6. I decide to trade. And then queen up. That queen's in a really good spot. He decides to check. And I was really surprised that he wanted to trade queens. And I want rook b2. Now, I'm thinking to myself, I'm in really good shape here. There's no way that I can lose this. But can I win it? Rook. I move my king up. Rook c6. I could have went to c2, which I probably should have put the rook behind the pawn. But I went to b3 instead of rook d6. Now we're on move 44. G4, I'm going to slowly bring my king up on my pawns. There's not much he can do. And I kind of blunder here. I probably should have checked him. But I didn't. I, it was a little trap I wanted for him, and I lose almost all of my advantage. I went F5. Rook to B8 was the best move. And after king check, king F8, rook takes H7. Knight takes f5, and I'm doing well. But again, I miss q. He plays rook takes. I decided to go rook b6. He has to put the rook on h4. I took the other pawn. 
And this is where he miscues. Rook to g4. Ah, take away the, the defending piece. He's got to move the rook. Now I'm up four pawns. Over at six point advantage. Rook c7. King e4. I let him have the pawn just to get my king up. And right around here, he looks at the clock. My clock that I had two time controls here. Second time control is an added 30 minutes sudden death, all a 10 second delay. At this point is when he realized that the second time control wasn't giving him a 10 second delay. Now we're well within 10, 15 moves past move 40. He stops the clock. He gets the tournament director. And what a pain in the ass. He's got to figure out 10 seconds for each side. We're talking about 15, 20, 25 minutes later. They finally get it resolved. The tournament director has to, I have to use his clock, so he holds mine. And it was just a fiasco. And I was so PO'd. It's a losing position. I started playing really crappy. I let my emotions get the best of me. He went rook c7. I want f6. I'm slowly moving my pawns and my king up. f5. Not a very good move. Should have started moving my d pawn is what I should have done. But I went f5. h4. Now he's got a running pawn. I have to go rook a3. Rook c1. Pawn push. I'm really blowing it now, but it's still, I'm so far ahead, it doesn't matter. We'll go through the last few moves here. King. I push the pawn. He checks. And I do a, kind of get screwed up there. D5, and I won't go through the rest of the game, but you get the idea. And so there it is. Round one, a nice win, I guess. We both made mistakes. My mistake, of course, was my mistake caused me to draw. If the worst case scenario, his mistake caused a loss. So I'll take it. Not very pretty, but I'll take it. So there's my a game from a round one in a five round New York State Open 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. Four more games to go. Let's see if I can continue this streak. Until then, Tarek, folks, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.